at 5.30. Starts right now. But we are here today as a group of unique women to show our faces proudly that this movement isn't about going out and getting high. The National Women's Marijuana Movement launches in Denver. On the eve of Mother's Day weekend, they want other mothers to join their fight, <clears throat> excuse me, to legalize marijuana. Good evening. Thanks for staying with us. I'm Libby Weaver. And I'm Ron Zappolo. Decriminalizing marijuana, it's a controversial topic, and one group wants mothers talking about it. They say whether you use pot or not, the fight against it is tearing families apart and wasting government resources. New tonight, Fox City Wednesday. Dave Young joins us now to explain why professional women are rallying behind this movement. Dave? Yeah, Libby, the group's already generating a lot of national attention, partly because of the Mother's Day message, partly because of Colorado's role in the national marijuana debate. Several of the women told me they do not use pot, but they say it's time to stop what they call the insanity of put people, putting people in jail because of it. We're here to change the face. We're here to say enough is enough. Just in time for Mother's Day, the newly formed women's marijuana movement says it's time to decriminalize pot. And it is absolutely time to stop destroying families, to stop putting people in federal penitentiaries. It is time to heal families, not destroy families. They are professionals, mothers, grandmothers, and students. Alcohol, binge drinking, things like that on our campuses are killing kids every single day. I feel like if there was an alternative, a legal alternative for our kids on campuses, they would choose it. I just think that if students were given the option of using marijuana, instead of alcohol, that um, hopefully a lot of the violence on campuses would go down. Although there are still health and impairment issues with pot, they say women now support marijuana legalization at the same level as men, but for very different reasons. As a mother of two, I know this, that marijuana prohibition will cause far greater harm to my family and to the future of my children than any consumption of marijuana ever could. If a person is arrested or ticketed for marijuana, you know, they can lose their children to social services. They can, um, you know, lose all of their financial aid. They say it's time to stop wasting government money fighting marijuana. The key to this movement is, of course, the legislative side. It's, of course, getting mothers and daughters and people talking about, you know, the medicinal aspects of it. But more importantly, it begins at home. My son started using marijuana, and I promptly put him into rehab where he learned to do heroin. Now, we should point out this group is associated with a pro-marijuana group called SAFER and that some national polls, Libby, show still more than half of women do not believe marijuana should be legalized. And why the connection to Mother's Day? Well, they say they thought it would be a good time for the awareness campaign. and They're asking folks to send an email to mom through their website at the National Marijuana, the Women's Marijuana Movement. Uh, so in Brand your Mother's website. Day card, yeah. happy Mother's Day, yeah. Mom, by Please the support. way. Yeah. <laughs> Instead of flowers, I sent you a bag of weed. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we'll see how that goes. Yeah, Dave, kidding. thanks. Also at the Capitol today, regulate.